Hello, welcome to part 3 of my MATLAB tutorial series and today I'm going to show you how functions work, how to use them and how plot works. So what is a function firstly? So let's get paint up. A function is basically a bunch of code which transforms one well, a set of numbers into another set of numbers. So think of it this way. A function is like a mincer. So here's your nice cool little mincer. And yeah, we'll give that a name. It's called mincer. So basically what a mincer does, it's mints whatever goes into it. So it has an input and it will output hopefully what well, minced meat so hopefully you put meat in and it will give out minced meat functions work the same way you put in one variable and it will churn that variable and it will spit it out again with some other value so let's show an example of this Okay, so this is what a basic function looks like. You have the function name, the input, and the output. So this is the first line of a function. You have to say function something equals function name input. So the next line, you need to somehow get like output there. So this has to match this somewhere inside the code. And yeah, it'll just do stuff. And at the end of this function, it'll just output whatever output was or whatever this you put this as. So let's show you an example. We're going, I'm going to make a function where it'll just add one to whatever you ask to input. So another important thing is that when you save a function in a separate m file, you must make sure the m file is the sa has the same name as the function name. So this function's name is called function name. So we must save it as function name dot m. Okay, so let's see if this works. So this is how we input the variables into the function. So let's be more interesting. So we got that number. So what we expect it to do is this this will replace t. So t will come here. So 405 plus 1 will be 406. So output will equal 406. So this will spit out 406. And so it does. So yes, that's how a function works. It is very useful if you want to keep repeating a whole bunch of like, let's say you find yourself repeating certain lines of code. Functions is a good way of you know, just grouping the code together. So let's see a more useful example. So let's clear the screen. So let's plot um, a cos function defined by the sine Taylor series. So according to the Taylor series solution of cos, cos yeah, so sine series, the Taylor series solution is actually summation from n equals zero. I'm not too sure if you can see that. To infinity. Okay, so let's make, yeah, we want to make that into a function. And we want to input, we want to have two inputs x 
and n. So we can actually replace these x and n's in here. And we want to make it print out some result. OK. So I've written a program already which does this. So basically, I've called this the a cos tailor. So basically, the output will is all this chunk. And note the dot exponential in here, because I want x to be, you know, to have a, a matrix input. So we can put like, yeah, a vector, a whole vector in there. I don't want them to start multiplying by each other. That would be very bad. So I put dot multiply. So it multiply. It will just bring each individual element to a certain power. So whatever two n is. So how this works is that it will get x and n from somewhere, whatever calls it and substitute it in for x and n in here and that will be our output and at the end it will just output whatever it is so let's create a separate m file which calls this function and yes I also made one earlier so let's do some basic housekeeping Yeah, so just clear the screen, clear all the variables. So I make result equal one, just predefine my variable. So just predefine it. So there are my predefined variables. And since it is a summation, I'll just bring the summation from n equals zero to n equals six. So I'll for this loop I taught you this in my first tutorial. So this this will continually get cos Taylor or whatever comes out of cos Taylor and add it to result. And so yeah, it'll just keep looping until we get a result and it'll plot our result. So let's run this. Okay, so there we go plot some type of cos looking graph. Okay, I'll make this higher and we should see a much smoother image. Yeah, there we go, much smoother. So that's how you plot it. So this is a whole vector and basically we chucked into cos Taylor and this will turn out this vector, add it to result, which was zero at the start, and yeah, it'll just keep looping, just adding vectors together until we get what we want. How does plot work? Plot actually plots individual points. Okay, okay so basically the points that are plotted is 1, 3 and 2, 4. So what plot does is it will plot corresponding elements. So this will be x and this will be y. So it'll plot 1, 3 and 2, 4 as we did there. So in this we plotted this whole vector which is this and result will be the corresponding will have the same dimensions and will you know, match x and y to the corresponding x value. It's important that these two have the same dimensions. So, otherwise, it will, it will spit out error it's because they'll be find like one point which doesn't have a x or y value and they'll say, ah, I can't do it. So, that's it for functions for today. Um, Stay tuned to other MATLAB tutorials I'm going to post. Thank you for listening.